Jim Lynch uh, was ta care takes the Wilderness Inquiry cabin. Jim has had a great variety of experiences working in the area, works uh, now at Port Superior at the harbor, has worked in the ski areas over in Ironwood, uh, has a uh, lives up in the near Little Sand Bay. Uh, he and Sally provided us with some really wonderful treats. Sally, we want to thank for our rhubarb cake. Uh, that was wonderful. And also for the cream cheese. That uh, was uh, a, a sheep cream cheese that's produced locally by Kelly and Frank. Faye, Faye, I think. And they're they're starting up a new and that was delicious. But in addition, we had a nice interview with Jim uh, asking him what he felt about the lake because he just can't stay away from this lake and uh, and I think his passion for this lake is is memorable. Tell us about what you used to do when you were riding the snowcat up in the Ironwood. When I lived over in Uper country near A <laughs> and leaving Bayfield on the wonderful Lake Superior, I uh, I would be working hard and doing graveyard shift and living in Ironwood during the winter and I'd last about two weeks until I had to drive down to Black River Harbor and make sure that Lake Superior is still there. <laughs> and you haven't been able to leave the lake since then? And I have not left the lake since then. This, the, the lake holds me. <laughs> All right. The lake holds me. Thank you. Uh, we met a man by the name of Dennis Kirchner. He it was, uh, where was that, south of Port Superior. Uh, he was with his granddaughter Alyssa and he's a lifelong resident of the lakeshore and gave us permission to cross his land, uh, get down to the Onion River. He, it was interesting talking to him and his telling us about the railroad bed that we were walking on and the fact that the train ended service in 1978. The state had a chance to buy the trail uh, rights at that point, but didn't. And unfortunately now, when they tried five years later, there's so much private ownership that it'll probably be impossible to get it. But it's a great, great real bed. I'm Denny Kirshner and this is Alyssa. Your granddaughter? My granddaughter and we've lived on this property pretty much all our lives. Mm -hmm. Is there a name for this bay? Uh, this is, uh, well, Chwamigan Bay is around the corner. There's really no specific name for this one. Okay. And have you seen a lot of change in your lifetime here? Not a whole lot, I wouldn't say no. That's good. Pretty much the same. Very pleasant place to live. All right. Do you spend time on the water? Yes, we have a boat, so we do a lot of boating. The boat's at the marina where you were yesterday. Oh, at Port Superior? This is going to be a short video. Yes, it is. <laughs> well, we really appreciate your letting us walk through here and telling us a bit about the history of this yeah, area. Well, you're welcome, and I wish you the best on your trip. And All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, we'll watch you on TV. <laughs> <laughs>